Welcome back to State of the Nation. The President, Muhammad Buhari, came on the fire on Wednesday, hours after he signed on his birthday the 10.59 trillion Naira 2020 budget, as he offered what many believe is a generous gift to the National Assembly, a 37 billion Naira fat envelope to renovate the National Assembly complex. However, this 37 billion Naira gift to the National Assembly has continued to generate reactions across the board, especially with comparisons made about what that fund could be used in other spheres of national life. Senator Emmanuel Okejev joins us from our Buja studios. Many thanks indeed, Senator, for coming on State of the Nation. 37 billion Naira is quite a huge sum for renovation of a structure already operational. Some say that uh, it's simply just too much. But I must ask you, do you think it's too much money to renovate where you go to, as well as uh, so many other senators and members of the House of Representatives? But thank you, Gimba. Uh, I, I thought I listened, I watched the program, the preceding program, and I, I thought the spokesman of the House had uh, spoken on that. But let me say <clears throat> directly that if you go to the complex, the National Assembly complex, if you go to the lobby and take a look at the, at the dome, the inside of the dome, it will immediately become clear to you that there is need for renovation of that structure. You can see some leakages. If you, if you look at the dome, the giant dome that uh, greets you when you're approaching the National Assembly, you immediately see the need. And if you enter the two chambers, you immediately see the need for a renovation of the structures. And by the way, those structures have been there for at least 20, 20 years. And so the need for renovation is there. I'm not an expert. I'm not a, an architect. I'm not a, a, an engineer or any expert in, in, in such matters. So I'm not in a position to really uh, justify uh, that amount. But let me say that this amount is not going to be handled anywhere by the National Assembly uh, bureaucracy. It's going to be done by the FCDA. You know, they are the ones that will do it, and they have experts that will do the renovation uh, and, and, and hand it over to to the National Assembly for, 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 for its oppressions. So uh, by and large now, since you don't believe that, um, or should I say you say you're not in position to judge on whether or not 37 billion is too much or too little for a project like that. But you're also very conversant about the education sector and the budget for this, for the year 2020, 48 billion Naira, which is allocated for health, and um, that, no, that's for education. And then for health, it's about 46 billion there, uh, if I'm getting the, those figures right. But when the National Assembly has 37 billion there, that is so much a close to call to suggest to anyone who's listening that for one structure and for a whole um, sector of the economy, health and education, for one, uh, to start with, they've remained in the very familiar uh, trajectory that they have continued to remain over the past years. Many say that perhaps if this funding of the National Assembly should be pushed to uh, other sectors like health or education, that will make more sense and be more sensible to Nigerians. Do you think that people who are of that thought are perhaps missing one thing, as you say, the dome, uh, maybe some has some perforations and could be fixed, but 37 billion, perhaps we should move it to some other sectors. Will that make more sense to you and maybe perhaps win accolades for the National Assembly? If you say perhaps we don't want that kind of money, we'll reduce it by half just for the good of Nigerians. Well, I, I understand the concerns of Nigeria when 37 billion is mentioned. But if indeed... The experts who are versed in such matters determine that that is the amount that will be used to renovate the... And by the way, let's not forget that every year education will get its own allocation. Every year health will get its allocation. Other sectors of our, of our national life or economy will get their allocation every year in every year's budget. But this is something that has come once in a very, very long time. And this is not the sort of thing that you, 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 you stagger. Renovation is not the kind of thing you stagger and say, okay, let's do this. This year, we'll do that. Next year, we'll do that. It has to be done at once. 
And so uh, why I appreciate the concern, I think that if we, w we don't want a situation where one day they will say the National Assembly building has collapsed, it will be a national shame. Uh, like I, I, let me repeat again that I'm not in a position to justify the amount because I'm not an expert on that. This has been put together by those who have done the assessment and who have uh, determined that that is the amount that will be needed to, to do it. And it, it will be done by experts, not from the National Assembly, but from the FCD authorities. So uh, I think that is that. Let, let's soft pedal on that, uh, on that uh, front and look at what the President, Muhammad Buhari, said just uh, uh, days leading up to, to his birthday when he said that uh, do not use my name to campaign for presidency or anything else in 2023. Is that feasible? Do you think that the leader of a party can dissociate himself or ask maybe party followers, party members, do not use my name when it comes to elections in 2023? Is that going to be possible? Well, if, if, if indeed that is what the president wants, I think that will be the end of the APC. Uh, let's not forget that the APC was built largely around the personality of uh, Muhammad Buhari. And uh, he, especially in the northern part of the country, if he pulls out of the APC or is not, no longer part of an election, I doubt whether APC will win uh, up to five states. Uh, so I don't know why he said that, but... Indeed, I see trouble for the party uh, because it was coupled based on the fact that uh, Buhari was to be put forward as a candidate and the ACN then also came the, the coalition that was, that, that was uh, coupled together to make the APC was done largely around the personality of Buhari. So if Buhari is no longer there, even if he doesn't say that, even if Buhari doesn't say that, uh, I, I don't think the APC would uh, win the election the way they won in the past. So... Uh, I'm, I'm not part of them, and so, but I, I see trouble coming their way in, in the next election. But, uh, well, while you believe that uh, trouble may be coming their way, they just might have one thing cooking or the other for you and surprise you from the other way, like they have always done, the APC always coming through. You did see that when we had the situation in, um, uh, in the build-up to the 2019 elections with so many of the states uh, embroiled in one problem or the other. But somehow, Adam Soshomele was able to hold them down, and today they are still in power, winning how many most of the states, as a matter of fact. But that being said, when we go into 2023 with the pronouncement of Mr. President not to use his name to, to campaign, as it were, uh, the chances are that who will then fit the cap? We're looking at uh, prominent APC personalities, some from the north, some from the west, some from the east, do you think the question of restructuring is able to sprout out who becomes president in 2023? Well, as for who becomes the candidate, first and foremost, of the APC, well, I don't want to speculate. Uh, it's, it's up to them to throw up whatever candidate they think can help them hold the party together and, and as they go into the election. Uh, you know, I've already said that uh, basically, if you have the president, the P President Buhari pull, pull out, uh, I'm just waiting to see who will come with the kind of personality that he did that will win uh, major states, in fact, virtually all the states in the north and, and in the southwest like they, they did before. And uh, so uh, the APC largely is a, is, 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 is a creation of, uh, of, of, of strength by fellows that was done, and it served their purpose because for 16 years the PDP had held sway, and at the time Nigerians appeared to be tired of, of, of PDP, and that's why the a, 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 APC was able to win. Uh, I don't think they will continue to, to thrive the way they, 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 they thrived those past, or, or the, those past four years or going to eight years uh, up to 2023. So it's up to them to think who they think, uh, who, to throw up who they think and can do the magic for them. Senator, let me just ask you one more question before I let you go off the cuff uh, this time, if you will. Do you think that a single term of six years is appropriate for uh, the president, governors and members of the House of, of the National Assembly? No, I don't think so. The constitution uh, allows for a four-year tenure of, of uh, you know, and you have the opportunity to... You see, if you give one, uh, somebody a single tenure of six years, uh, there is no motivation much to, 
to try to go on. If you, if you give it to a politician, you can be sure that it will be all politics. That is a hardcore politician. It will be all politics and at the end of nothing left because he has nothing to lose. Uh, most presidents or even governors use the first term to perform. And when it comes to the second term, uh, maybe the first or second year, and then it's all politics. So uh, let's leave it the way the Constitution has established. Uh, I don't see it, and I'm happy that the House of Representatives rejected that idea. Okay. Um, Senator Emmanuel Okejev, I must sincerely thank you as well for talking to us on this very salient point raised at the National Assembly as well as uh, the President's comments uh, with regards to the 2023 presidency. Many thanks indeed for talking to us. And to you for being a part of the show. Many thanks indeed for watching. I am Gimbo Omar and this is State of the Nation. Bye now.